touch design tutorial long time no see so for today we're going to have a very 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 simple and straightforward demonstration of converting your final display in a full screen win or in a full screen display rather than the window so we're going to start with an empty project as usual we are going to remove all the unnecessary boxes and create a new project so i name it at full screen and changing all the proper name for the project and i also create a movie folder because i'm using an external digital video okay so in the desktop i'm going to drag the movie over there okay so in order to use the movie you can either do a movie file in or you can simply drag this one to your touch designer project so that is a simple video we have done for the animation okay and then i can just add a little bit of effect to have a tile of four of the hello kitty moving and as usual i can also flip it into something like this in order to have a funny effect so for the right I try to remove the edges and also for the bottom and a little bit of the top and left okay so this is done and if we are not going to do anything by clicking on the perform button we're going to have a window which is the size of our resolution 1280 by 720 and if we are going to turn it into full screen mode so one of the easier way is to go out of the project one so this is project one the slash is the root folder so we can just click and select the add so slash and that will give you three boxes so the box we are going to use so play around with is the perform box that is the perform window project one is where you come from that is the main project window that if you double click you can go back to where you belong so for the perform window we can click on p parameter to have a look of those parameter we can change so we can just choose from the opening size for fill and then without the border let's turn it off and we're going to fill the primary monitor that is the current monitor so if you have external monitor or other than one display you can also choose other monitor so the default one is zero and then if you have other there will be one two and three and you also bear in mind that the opening size field may have a little bit distortion of your of your image so if your tentative display is not in the same aspect ratio so when we are done with that one you can just click on your perform window or i can go back to my project one save and then click on my perform button so in this case you will have a full screen display of your final output rather than the just a window with the menu bar and also the remaining portion of the desktop visible to the user so that's it thank you